Hello, my name is Wayne Kortz, and I'm the Regional Section Manager here at the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. In the previous section, you learned about emergency spill response. Now I'm going to go further into calling a Minnesota duty officer and when's the appropriate time to do that. When to call in a spill or discharge. This is defined by Minnesota State Statute 115.061. It says, except as provided in paragraph B, it is the duty of every person to notify the agency immediately of the discharge accidental or otherwise, of any substance or material under its control, which, if not recovered, may cause pollution to waters of the state. Paragraph B says notification is not required on this paragraph A for discharges of five gallons or less of petroleum products, as defined in section 115 CO2 subdivision 10. Now, what this means is there is no minimum amount of manure that can be exempted from this. Any amount of manure that enters waters of the state that may cause pollution must be called in the Minnesota duty officer. So this means every person who has any substance or material under its control must report spills and leaks. This includes the commercial animal waste technician who is in physical control of the discharge substance. Once again, the Minnesota duty officer number is 1-800-422-0798. It's very important that you call that number if you have a spill response that meets this definition. Now we're gonna go through some different scenarios to help you determine what is the appropriate time to call the Minnesota duty officer and what are some discharges that do not need to be called in. In this case here, we have manure is leaked out the back of a manure tanker for about three quarters of a mile down the road. Should you call this in or should you not? In this case, it is spilled on a road which the road ditches are considered waters of the state. So if this was to be a spill, it should be called in because manure could be end up in the road ditch, which is waters of the state. Also, you may want to call this in to get assistance from the local road authority to maybe put signs up or help with cleaning the manure off the road. There's different scenarios that the duty officer can help you with to help get those things under control. Here's another case. A drag hose breaks discharging 20,000 gallons of manure into a grass waterway. Should this be called in? The answer is yes. A waterway in many times is considered an intermittent stream, which is waters of the state. So in this case, we had a direct discharge into waters of the state, and we would need to report that to Minnesota duty officer. Here's another scenario. A tanker rolls over into the cornfield, spilling about 200 gallons into the field. Is it required that you call this one in? In this case, more than likely not because the manure is less than or only 200 gallons, which would be less than the application rate in that field. So there is not a discharge into waters of the state or a potential for that because it, the application was less than what the field required for manure application. Now, could you call this in because it looks really bad? Yes, there is no penalty to call in incidents to the duty officer. Here we have another case. An over-application manure resulted in manure running off the field into a small wetland. Should you call this one in? Yes, manure has left the field and entered a small wetland, which is considered waters of the state. So it's important that you call this in. So the information you need to know when you call in duty officer, it's a 1-800 number, so there is no charge for you. So, but you will need to know the location by county, township, section, quarter section, and also, if, if possible, the nearest intersections of roads. You also need to know the estimated amount of manure spilled and did it reach waters of the state. I ask you to make a good faith estimate on this amount as many times we receive very small amounts reported when we go out there for investigation, we see much larger. So do your best effort to estimate the total amount spilled. You should also have a contact number to be called back at. And this could be your site manager or your company uh, phone number that someone could call back to and get further information if necessary. And also you need to know, do you need further assistance from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency? Maybe an assistance in cleaning up, or do you need the local sheriff or the local highway department, maybe for road control um, or things like that, that may help you to help clean up the spill. So the objectives learned in this section is what types of spills are required to be reported to the Minnesota duty officer? Basically it comes down to is any spill that may result in pollution to waters of the state. It doesn't mean they have to have reached there only that they may result in pollution to waters of the state. So that threshold is very low. You should also learn what the Minnesota duty officer phone number is. That's 1-800-422-0798. And lastly, what type of information is needed when calling the Minnesota duty officer? And that includes location, the estimate amount of manure spilled, did it reach waters of the state, 
a callback phone number, and do you need any further assistance? Thank you.